At first I thought girls group was kind of like sit down in a circle and cry and oh share like <laughs> these horrible stories. So that's what I first thought. being there I found that that girls group is there to help girls become women and transition off to become wonderful women first met Mariah in September, the debut time ball was all she talked about. Specifically for this, I've helped make sure she got to rehearsal, get all the things done on time, um, making sure that she knows about everything that's going on, that her mom and grandma stays informed. And then outside of this, I also help her get ready for college in the fall. In the beginning, rehearsals were just once a week, and they went to twice a week. And on top of that, like Mariah still works and goes to school, so it's been a lot. But it's it's very exciting that like today is the day that we get to see everything come together that we work for. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. You think you're yeah. cute? Are you excited? Open your eyes. You know After this, I know she probably I probably give her like a day or two to relax, and we got to go back to getting ready for college. So it's fun. I know she's gonna be excited to be in the moment and to have everything happen. There was like this meeting about how girls groups should like address the girls in Skyline High School. And I was a part of that meeting, me and a couple other girls from girls group. Just the group. growth in general, because girls group is gonna grow and we wanna make sure that we're keeping the essence of what is great about girls group. But we need your feedback as a participant, someone who has gone through it. Like, you know, I have my viewpoint as a staff member. Sue is like the founder, the executive director. She's also been mentoring hundreds of girls. So our perspective is different from if you've actually been a member or participant. Well, I'm a, I'm Mariah's family. I've known for 12 years, right? So she saw her cousins go through it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, way back. My mom, like, made me do it. And I wasn't, like, mad because, like, I wanted to do it because, like, I wanted to go on college tours and stuff. We just kind of helped, like, share how we feel girls group should approach the girls in our school and also how girls stay active in the group and actually take advantage of the good opportunities that girls offer. So if you started in ninth grade and we said, you know, and, and as the ninth grade group here at Skyline, and it was billed as, if I keep doing this, it's going to get me to college. So even on the days where I'm being pulled in a different direction, like, oh, my friends are going out to whatever, but I'm going to go to girls group because I have to go two out of four times. Well, no, personally, I would say no to that because okay. I didn't come to girls group a lot, like, my <laughs> last, like, you junior know year <laughs> and, like, sophomore year, kind of. And, like, that's why girls group is so good. Like, they don't kick you out. So it's just kind of, like, always, like, knowing that someone's there to help me see things that I can't see on my own. You know, guys are like the magnifying glasses. Mm. Where'd you go up with that thing, right? <laughs> Just use a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> College is really important to me because I feel like it's just another checkpoint to the finish line. Very important. Um, me like showing my sisters and like my siblings that anything is possible. So I want to get my master's in psychology and I want to get my bachelor's in criminal justice and I want to become a forensic psychologist. I plan to be a founder of a nonprofit that helps felons become more productive members of society and try to like help them find jobs and like get back with their families and stuff like that because my dad is in prison and then like so I think what impressed me about Mariah is not only her resilience but her openness and honesty with her emotions and her commitment and her dedication to being a role model to her family and her younger siblings. That's what impressed me a lot.
Yeah. Yeah. I'm already dramatic for you, know that. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. Eyebrows on. Oh. Okay, give her one. Give her one for the picture. Oh, that is cute, bro. So my college mentor was Capri. Capri was new to girls group and it was kind of like cool because she was new to girls group and I was new to senior year. Me and her have grown close. I've told her stuff I've never told nobody else. It's just been like having a big sister but also having like a mom and then also having like a teacher. It's just been like all this stuff in like one. When I got to girls group, I didn't want to meet new people. I didn't want to go do new things. I was just fine how everything was. My 18 year old self would say, I want to do so much stuff and I just want to meet so many new people, see so many things and just be so careless but careful. Yeah.